Hello everyone, free to say free to back with another tech review coming your way. Today we're looking at the latest and greatest new Orbit 5th edition from Chris Brown. Alright, so this is the new 5th edition of the Orbit deck from uh, Chris Brown. The OrbitBrown.com, we can get it. The front of the box says Orbit, nice bluish colors. Um, I will tell you, let's look at some information here. It's a nice teal and orange color. A matte stock on the tuck case. The um, the mountains you see on this design were inspired by a Iranian moon named Miranda, which is ironic because that is also my last name. <laughs> um, I thought that was a pretty cool little factoid. Limited edition, only twenty three thousand decks produced. Super limited, gonna be very hard to find in about ten years. <laughs> um, anyway, let's continue on. That's the front of the box. On the side says distributed by the orbitbrown.com and available pretty much everywhere, even a loose nest is retailing it. it. Says fifth edition on the one side, twenty four on top, it's some number associated with him. I apologize for not having information on that. I'm just not familiar with it. At the bottom you see the orbit logo, I guess you could say it is. And in the back you see the bat design, which is similar to the previous ones, except it has these flying comets going through there, and you see the mountainous details. And kind of the logo on the pit on the uh, seal. The flap it says the deeper you gaze into the cosmos, the harder it is to look back. Persist and endure. Don't know if you can read that. And here it says hashtag the fifth orbit or sorry the uh, the fifth the orbit deck hashtag the orbit decks and at the orbit deck is instagram and little artwork the inside is this nice orange color at the bottom it says we are orbit inside you get a eight of spades duplicate nice matte design pretty thin borders you get a double backer the Ace of Spades says persist and endure. The Orbit deck, the orbitbrown.com, 23 at the bottom, and you see a little space up on the moon, and you see the Earth in the background, and nice colors as well in this one. The other Aces have standard pips, but slightly bigger. And then the Jokers, I, I sort of saw the Jokers first, I'm backwards here for some reason. It's a guy on, on a bicycle on the moon in a space outfit. Uh, Joker on top, the little O in the corner for Orbit. Both identical and they're in color this time around. And then get to the court cards. The only ones that are custom are these jacks, which have different people. I'll show you that in a bit. Again, for some reason I'm all mixed up here. I'll, I'll show you all the court cards actually, is what I'm going to do. So the jacks appear to be modified. The rest, uh, maybe a little bit. Some of them are standard. They are Arco court cards, Arco bodies with some modified faces. And then number cards are just Arco pips as well. These cards are printed on a crust B stock. They are traditionally cut, which is great for fairing. And um, apparently they have secret ingredients. <laughs> I wrote that down for some reason. And actually, uh, I had some information on who some of the people are. The, King of Hearts is Chris Brown's dad. The Jack of Diamonds is himself. The Jack of Spades is Daniel Snyder, who designed this. The Jack of Hearts is Son Olasin, who I'm not familiar with. The Queen of Hearts is Holly, which I believe is his wife. The Jack of Spades is Nick Sumphauser. And that's all I've got. I like that little detail that Comet adds to it. Handle is pretty good. Looks really nice. I like it. I would probably say a 10 out of 10, 9.5 out of 10, something like that. Really cool deck. I like it. I recommend checking it out. Available from pretty much everywhere. Comment, rate, subscribe. We'll see you next time for more. Thanks for watching. See ya.